confidence. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Here we go now. Green, 39. From the red zone now, first down. Here's Kessler. This is complete to Hawkins. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Hurry up, here we go. Green, third. They go back to the ground now with Crowell. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Hurry up, here we go. Throwing his Kessler on. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Terrell Pryor from 13 yards out. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Start the drive with Elliott. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Second down following the run. Toss left to Elliott. Cuts it out here, left sideline. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. 
Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. A big play there on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. Fresh set of downs here. Now it's Crowell. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A gain of three, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Looking to pass, Kessler. The intended target was Corey Coleman. And now it's third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Now let's go! Green, 39! Green, 30. From the gun on third down, Kessler. And a hookup over the middle to Pryor. Give him six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. All right, here we go. Over, over, over. Over, They'll try and throw for it with Kessler, and it is incomplete. Well, a fun league-wide story, no matter who we're covering, is Detroit. Another come-from-behind win for Matthew Stafford and company. They're now 9-4 and four this year. How about 13 games, 12 of them they've been behind in the fourth quarter. Nine, as you just mentioned, they've won. And Matthew Stafford's the key reason why. He has to be in the discussion for most valuable play, the way he's rallied his team. And I'm going to flip it over. There's one other guy we've got to talk about from the AFC side. He had a rough game in his last out against Kansas City. Oh, but Derek, Derek Carr. Carr has had a magnificent year. Year, and the two of them are both playing hurt injuries to their throwing hands looks like the defense in press coverage here and he motions the wide receiver on first and ten Prescott out left side here to Bryant and he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Prescott on first down. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Here's Kessler. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Oh, my. And yeah, now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Go 
Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Off the play fake to Crowell. Here's Kessler. He's got time in the pocket. Going for the deep ball. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Third and long, it's Kessler. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Andrew Hawkins, the intended receiver. And that brings up fourth down. Well, the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Taking on the midfield logo. The 41 yard will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And likely just out of field goal range could be Hail Mary time. And haven't we seen in recent years that the Hail Mary seems to be more successful in the <laughs> NFL than before? Absolutely we have. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. So the D-line's going to spread out. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second and very short here, less than a yard. They'll run it again with Crowell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Second down, nine yards to go. Detroit! Detroit! Check three, check three. They'll run with Crowell. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Tackle made there by Justin Duran. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Kessler, and that is incomplete. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Now let's go. Three, let's go. Good, good. Kessler to throw for it on fourth. And he finds Barnage. He's got it. That one good for 14 yards. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through.